My name is Greta Thunberg, and I'm not here to make deals. You see, I don't belong to any financial interest or political party, so I can't bargain or negotiate. I'm only here to once again remind you of the emergency we are in. The crisis that you and your predecessors have created and inflicted upon us. The crisis that you continue to ignore. I am here to remind you of the promises that you have made to your children and grandchildren and to tell you that we are not willing to compromise on the very minimum safety levels that still remain. The climate and ecological crisis can, unfortunately, no longer be solved within today's systems. According to the current best available science, that's no longer an opinion, that's a fact. And we need to keep this in mind as countries, businesses and investors now rush forward to present their so-called ambitious climate targets and commitments. The longer we avoid this uncomfortable truth, and the longer we pretend that we can solve the climate and ecological emergency without treating it like an emergency, the more precious time we will lose. And this is time we do not have. Today, we hear nations and leaders all over the world speak of an existential climate emergency. And yet, instead of taking the immediate action you would in any emergency, they set up vague, hypothetical, distant targets way into the future. Targets based on loopholes and incomplete numbers. Targets like net zero emissions 2050. Targets that equal surrender. It's like waking up in the middle of the night, seeing your house on fire and then deciding to wait 10, 20 or 30 years before you call the fire department while labeling those trying to wake people up alarmists. We understand that the world is complex and that change doesn't happen overnight. But you've now had more than three decades of blah, blah, blah. How many more do you need? Because when it comes to facing the climate emergency, the world is still in a state of complete denial. The justice for the most affected people in the most affected areas is being systematically denied. Even though we welcome every single climate initiative, the targets and commitments being presented and discussed today are very far from being enough. And the time for small steps in the right direction is long gone. If we are to have at least a small chance of avoiding the worst consequences of the climate and ecological emergency, this has to change. Because you still say one thing and then do the complete opposite. You speak of saving nature while locking in policies of further destruction for decades to come. You promise to not let future generations down while creating new loopholes, basing your pledges on the cheating tactics that got us into this mess in the first place. If the commitment of lowering all our emissions by 70, 68 or even 55% by 2030 actually meant they aimed to reduce the emissions on that level, that would be a great start. But that is unfortunately not the case. And since the general level of public awareness continues to be so low, our leaders can still get away with almost anything. No one is held accountable. It's like a game. Whoever is best at packaging and selling their message wins. As it is now, we can have as many meetings and summits as we want. But unless we treat the climate and ecological emergency like an emergency, no sufficient changes will be achieved. What we need to begin with is to implement annual binding carbon budgets based on the current best available science. And right now, more than ever, we are desperate for hope. But what is hope? For me, hope is not more empty assurances that everything will be all right, that things are being taken care of and that we don't need to worry. For me, Hope is the feeling that keeps you going, even though all odds may be against you. 
For me, hope comes from action, not just words. And for me, hope is telling it like it is, no matter how difficult or uncomfortable that may be. And again, I'm not telling you what to do. After all, safeguarding future living conditions and preserving life on Earth as we know it is voluntary. The choice is yours to make. But I can assure you this. You cannot negotiate with physics. And your children and grandchildren will hold you accountable for the choices that you make. How's that for a deal? Thank you.